the good news of the cross. 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 17. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel. That is the good news. Not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of no effect. This week we've been talking about the good news of Christ coming into this world. And as we close out this week, thanking God for sending His Son Jesus, we reminded the words of the Apostle Paul where he said, you know, I preach the good news. And the good news is about the cross of Christ. And as we read through that passage in 1 Corinthians, Paul says it's the cross which is the wisdom of God and it is the power of God. On the cross, the work of salvation was complete. Sin's power was broken, sin was paid for, Satan was defeated. Both the wisdom of God and the power of God was displayed and Paul is saying, this is good news, the message of the cross of Jesus Christ. So as we remember Christ coming into this world, we look to the cross and we say, God, thank you for the cross. Thank you for what Jesus Christ did for me on the cross. The cross is good news. It means my sins are forgiven. It means the fall has been reversed. It means whatever Adam brought me under, Christ brought me out of and set me up and above and over. It means there is a transition point. The old is gone, the new has come. It means Satan's power over my life is broken and Christ is Lord over my life. The cross is the separation. It's, it's the old, it separates the old and the new. And so we can take time to say, God, thank you for the cross. That's good news in my life. Thank you for all that has been made available to me through the cross of Jesus Christ. This week, celebrating Christmas, celebrating the birth of Christ. Don't forget, without the cross, the cradle, the birth of Christ has no meaning. The full expression of Christmas is seen in the death, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Thank God for the cross and the work that was finished on the cross. It is the wisdom of God and it is a power of God for every one of us who believe. Let's pray and give thanks to God for the cross. Father, we thank you so much for sending Jesus into the world. And even as we've celebrated his birth and as it remembered his coming into this world, we want to say thank you for the cross, that place of triumph, that place where Jesus said, it is finished, the work is done, the work is completed, but the wisdom of God and the power of God was put on display. And for us who believe the cross of Jesus is the wisdom of God, it is the power of God. It is the power of God that brings salvation into our lives. Thank you for everything Jesus made available to us through the cross. We can walk in the full blessings of the cross of Jesus. And I pray this for each of us, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.